Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Code Vein, where I am gonna go punch this crypt keeper in the face. Should be a good time. Should be a good time. Her singing definitely puts me on edge, though. Not gonna lie. But all right, let's get it. Let's do it. Let's hit it. Bring it on. Jack, how'd you get here before me? I just realized he was standing there in front of her. I just want to know how he got here before I did. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I thought the game froze for a second. Hopefully, it didn't mess up the recording. But, we're gonna find out. Eva. Hi, Eva. And your eye flowered protector. You don't have to fight. Don't worry. It's all gonna be okay. I'll take on the relics now. Hold up, Jack. Hold up, buddy. Easy. Don't try to stop me. You already know that I can, you know. Or he already knows that I can, I guess, basically uh pacify the relics, so. I don't know why he's so freaked out about this. Oh boy, giant sand hand. Oh boy, let's go. And now we're screaming. Let's do it, big guy. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go fight. I forget what this one's called. The, uh, um... What, are, what is your name? Pro successor of the, the voice or is it the throat? I don't... Successor of the throat, okay. So one thing I don't like about this fight is these grabby hands. I'm just gonna keep rolling away because, you know, I don't want to get hit. Um, I don't know if Ice actually works on her or not. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it my best shot, though. Um... But, this boss is a really big fan of, um, uh, you know, wide AoEs. I'm gonna see if I can't hit her with this. Well, I mean, I kinda- I, I actually don't think I hit her. Ow, ow. Well, I've been inflicted with leak, oh no, and now I just gotta keep the pressure on. Cause, you know, I lose i every couple seconds or so. Are you about to explode into sand? I don't like that. Uh, okay, I guess he didn't. Sweet. <clears throat> So I will, however, back up. Hey, she's dabbing! Why are you dabbing? Oh. That's why. I figured out why she was dabbing everybody. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Oh. Alright. I'm glad you didn't throw that thing my way. I'm just gonna back up real quick and I'm gonna heal. Um. Oh, let's back away from that. Oh, no, never mind. I, I staggered her. Sweet. Okay, so we're just gonna bonk her on the noggin with my hammer. Uh, <laughs> if I told you I knew what I was doing, that'd be a bold-faced lie. I'm just kind of, you know, wailing on her. I do know a couple things of what she's going to do, of what she's trying to do, rather, but the majority of it is I'm basically just entirely reactionary at this point. Um. Oh, okay, I didn't realize there was a the two slaps coming my way. But you know what? She's about to get bonked real hard. EXPLOSIONS! Wow, that was a that was a really easy boss, actually. I feel like I probably could have done that last episode had I actually, you know, wanted to give it a shot. But there we go! Greater loss dispersed. We did it! Yay! All of four minutes. Now, are we gonna spend 15 minutes in cutscenes again? Who knows? I don't. Actually, I do. That was a lie. We're not gonna... Unfortunately, no, that was a very uninspired boss fight. Need. Not uninspired, yeah. it was just. Let's go see her again. It was a. It was a very. I. I, I like the boss. It's just what you know. Say? That's. It's not possible. Yeah, it is. Oh, 
And Jack, you might not know this, but Heat Miser, um... Heat Miser is really, really, really good at subverting expectation. And, you know, making really bad decisions. And in we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh... Now then. When I first met Jack, I was just a possession owned by Revenants. Cool. My throat was bruised. I couldn't even speak. But he took me in without a second thought. Damn right he did, because he's a good person. Alright, we're skipping it. Um. Hey, Ava, how you doing, sister? <coughs> Excuse me. I like her cloak and I want it. Just gonna throw that out there. Go! Give him a shove, Heat Miser. Okay, fine, don't give him a shove. <clears throat> I've put you through far too much. No, you haven't. You sure about that? When I first met you, I had absolutely nothing. You gave me the light of hope. Hell yeah! I like his ring. Can I have it? Jack, can I have your ring? And my voice. I want to skip this one too, just so I can, you know. I knew this would eventually be my fate. But I kind of like this part. I was still happy. All right, okay, we're skipping it. <clears throat> she sings him a song, and then she turns to stone. That's all you're missing, because I don't want to sit through more inane cutscenes. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be another cutscene coming up here in about uh, as soon as we get out of this room. The relics. Hell yeah! And by another cutscene, I mean Mito's probably going to. I think Mito shows up. I don't remember. I just know that. Uh, <laughs> the last time I beat a boss, and I'm, uh, you know, five minutes of gameplay, 15 minutes of cutscene happened. So that wasn't a whole lot of fun. So we're just gonna, just gonna try and skip through that as fast as possible. Um, I'm just trying to remember where I go after this. <clears throat> Welcome back to the land of the living. You're no longer a demon, I guess. But I really want your cloak. Can I have it, please? I need it more than you do. Eva. Eva. She's back to normal. Unlike everybody else. Amazing. Did she resist the relic's effect? Maybe it's because we were there to treat her immediately. Perhaps. That's right, Heat Miser. You held the threads of my tattered hearts together. You're welcome, I think? Eva. I. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Would you let me stay with you a while longer? Hell no, get out! <laughs>
All right, so now where do we go? I don't know. Is that the end of the cutscene? I hope so. Because I kind of want to go play the game some more. <clears throat> Ten minutes in, four minutes of fighting. Um, I do like the sky, though. It's a very pretty skyline. Uh, cool. Okay, so I know where I'm going. I just hit this thing. Harmonia. Features excellent dark gifts. Is weak to being staggered, but has high i stock. I have acquired a new blood code. Oh, boy. I think if I go back to base, I can go get Jax as well now. Um, let us find out real quick. Because I want... I mean, I, I want to have his thing. Uh, we're going to Tepalort. Uh, and, yeah, that's kind of the only reason. I just want to go get Jack's uh, blood code. I'm pretty sure I can get it. Or maybe I already have it. I don't remember. I just know that it's a lot like Louis, but instead of being a little bit of magic and a little bit of offense, it's just straight offense. It has very low durability. It's just get in there, fight shit, get out. If you get hit, you die. If you don't get hit, you win the fight. <laughs> but, I mean, that's kind of how any fight works, so, you know. <clears throat> the exact opposite of uh, the blood code I've been using, Fion, which is you can take as many hits as you want. It's going to kill you, but you can take as many as you want. Jack, talk to me. Thank you. So, you'll need strength for the battle. All right, there we go. I'm surprised you were standing right in front of me, too. I appreciate that more than this game knows. And more than I'm able to express. Heimdall. Specialized in highly aggressive melee combat, but its weight allowance is extremely low. So, it's like I said, it's just... It's just, uh, Louis, uh, uh... What was his called? Oh, I can think it's Pandora. No, that's not it. Um... Acquire Gifts. What was Louis called? Prometheus, that's what it was. <clears throat> uh... Yeah. I also like Jack's last name, Rutherford. Just, you know, anime as lord. My last name's Rutherford. <laughs> I find the naming convention in this game very funny. Um, like the first boss you fight, Oliver Collins. Never would have thought he was an Oliver at all. At all. Um, but we're going to go up to the... Um, next area which is through that purple portal that i didn't touch they looked at it and then they just said yeah we're not going through it we're just gonna go back to the missile <laughs> so we're going in there and sorry i was chewing on a fingernail um coming right up on the end of the game um i don't know if that's zero two or zero eleven i don't know what exactly i was reading but we're coming right up on the end of the game um there's this area and then one more that I know of, one of my friends said uh, where I stopped playing on my main file basically was at the end of the game. It's just that last area is obnoxiously long. Um, but this area that we're going to isn't much of a cakewalk either. Um, it also has two of the most annoying bosses in the game, but it has, you know, some of the coolest weapons that you can get out of this place. Or rather, some of the coolest weapons you can get in this game. <clears throat> I want to go check something real quick. I'm pretty sure I can get um, Eva as a follower. I just have to go talk to her. Um, air, surrounding area mapped. But welcome to the Crypt Spire. I think this is what this place is called. I don't remember exactly. I know it just said it and I wasn't reading. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, I, can, I can use Ava. So Ava, Mia, and uh, Io are pretty much the same, same idea. They are long-range support. Mia is... Uh, basically shoot people. I always keep your stupid ass alive and throw spells, and Ava is just throwing spells. Her entire shtick is, I'm going to shoot you with this sandblast, and it's going to do tons of damage. But I do like uh, Io more, only because of the fact that Io can keep my dumb ass alive. Um, <clears throat> her empowered heal is too strong to pass up. Also, whenever she throws that thing at people, it makes me very happy. Well, I didn't time that correctly. Bonk. Down he goes. So I lost uh, a lot of health immediately, so that was fun. I got hit by... I got hit three times and, you know, lost half my health. So that's, um... That's something. And there's a ladder. A shortcut. Um... Unfortunately, it's gonna take me a bit to get up there. Uh, because this is, like I said, the area that I just ran through in my main file, so I kinda know what I'm getting myself into. Uh, more or less. I don't remember every little uh, intricacy about it, but I do know the boss in here is very annoying. And, um, 
But we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, rather. Bonk. Bonk. I also should probably go through some uh um chalice dungeons here soon. Cause there are some chalices or some or I'll say chalice dungeons. I keep thinking they're uh <laughs> I keep thinking they're bloodborne chalices or the bloodborne dungeons. But there are some dungeons that I should go through. The depth maps, I guess they're called. Um that are pretty interesting. Let's not go hit the, the lever in the middle of the room before killing these dudes first. Let's, I don't really want to have that. Oh, hey, cool. That guy's got a big-ass hammer. wonder whose hammer hits more, or hits harder. Mine or his? I, I combined hits harder and hurts more, and just got hits more. So, you know. Ow. And backstab. Down he goes. Give me my health back. And by health back, I mean give me my soul. Give me your soul. I want blood. I want blood. Blood! And bonk, bonk. Oh, cool. That makes him focused immediately. Good to know. Unfortunately, it's not going to do him any good. I'm about to hit him in the ass. I'm about to explode him. All right. I don't know, I don't know what throwing this does, but I'm going to hit this lever. Oh. That's what the lever does. Good to know. I figured it out, everybody. I was able to use the power of perception to figure out what this lever did. Um, spoilers, not a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's important that I needed to hit it, because I couldn't have progressed if I didn't, but you know. Uh, so we're going to pop this real quick. And condensed loss shard. Oh, boy. Um, I know that there is a blood code that I can get in this area. I just don't remember where it is. And backstab. Oh boy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hit that dude. He's throwing shit at me. And I don't appreciate that. Go ahead, shoot me. I dare you. Okay, you got your. Okay. Oh, cool. Put my uh. All right, fine. You're getting dragon launched. Never mind. I got murdered. You're going off the cliff, sir. Okay, you didn't go off the cliff, but you know what? You came damn close to it. And ice barrage. Oh, I didn't kill him. Shit. <laughs> That did, though. I keep forgetting that this class doesn't have any spell power, so, you know, throwing spells at people ain't gonna work. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think where I need to go next. Um, because I have one of two ways I, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go to the right. I'm just gonna go to the right, see what happens. Worst case scenario is I die, right? Right. Um, hey, cool, there's some gremlins on the ceiling. Can I lock onto the gremlin? I can. Can I throw this at the gremlin? No. No, I cannot. That is disappointing. Do I have a throwing knife? I do not have a throwing knife. I've acquired a new stamp. Oh, boy. I don't really care. All right, let's go, big man. And... Oh, there's a bunch of gremlins. Okay. We're just gonna do this real quick. We're gonna get... Th I think I killed three of them? Hell yeah, I killed three of them. Go get them, Io. Go get that little gremlin so I can fight this big dude. Ow. Thanks, Io. Thanks for blinding me. But I am... Uh, not quite gonna call this an episode. I thought I uh, spent a little bit longer doing that, but you know what? It worked for me, so. What does this do? Does that open the door behind him? Probably. Where are you? Yep. No. Oh no, it did open it ahead of me. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't read that meme map there for a second. Maybe I'm. Maybe I, uh. <laughs> maybe I have map dyslexia. I don't know. Um, but I'm going up here. I just want to see what's going on up this in direction. Uh, hey, cool. A vestige. We're grabbing it. <clears throat> well, I guess that's an order. Yoink! Right. Warrior, Murasame's assistant. Ideal for fighting based fighting style or strength based fighting styles and features gifts that aid in survival. I've acquired a new blood code. Oh boy. Um <clears throat> I do want to use that blood code, but it's basically just dexterity based and, you know, hammer. Uh <laughs> specifically ice hammer. Um I don't think she's gonna give me. The, I don't think it's gonna give me the strength I need to use it. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. It does give me the strength I need to use it. But I'm going back to Fion almost immediately. I also am a super big fan of Skathak. Skathic. Um, it's what I use to fight the boss in this area, and the only reason is because it had an easily spammed projectile. It cost very little Icor, and it did a ton of damage. But I'm going to go fight this dude, then I'm going to call this an episode. So, for those of you... Uh, there's a little gremlin over here, isn't there? There is not, but the big man's coming for me. Hey, 
Hey, I didn't realize I could parry his kick. I took a guess. All right, well, he's dead. Bonk, bonk. All right, well, I'm gonna go for, oh, hey, cool, there's a friend. Uh, all right, I'll go after this guy. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, but if not, to carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I will see you all next time, where I will be a little farther up this stupid-ass tower, because I really don't like it here. But I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. It's been a ton of fun.